Okay, so, okay, so here is the actual details of the International Business Daily Poll. We see that of likely uh, registered Democrats or lean Democrats, uh, people that are uh, planning to vote in the uh, Democratic presidential nomination. Uh, in the Northeast, 29 uh, people supported Hillary, 35 Bernie, and eight weren't sure. 10% uh, of those who were questioned. The ones that seemed the uh, most indecisive are in the South and uh, the ones that seem most to have made up their minds are the Midwest and the West at 6% undecided. Uh, and uh, Sanders is leading uh, 44 to 36 in the Northeast and 52 to 37 in the West. He's trailing badly in the so-called Southern Firewall Streets, 27 to 51. In the Midwest, they're neck and neck at 40 to 43. Based on trajectory, that means he has the advantage because if you ran these same numbers a month ago, they'd uh, many of the ones, especially where he's doing badly now, he was doing worse in then. So he is, uh, there are segments of the population that he's not getting to as readily. So when we look at the 18 to 24 year olds, he's at 65%, then he's at 50, 29, and then finally at uh, 65 and older, only 20% are supporting Sanders. Uh, almost an exact mirror for Clinton, 64, 52, 33, 17. And if we run his backwards, 65, 50, 29, 20. Uh, so the two uh, uh, key differences is that he drops from uh, 50, uh, well, 64, 65, 52, and 50, 33, 29, and 17, and 20. It's amazing symmetry of old versus young. Uh, Sanders has very little support amongst the elderly of people over 65 and Clinton has almost no support amongst the people under 24. Uh, and um, uh, Sanders does well all the way up to 44. Then we look at male and female, again mirrors of each other with 39.45 for Sanders with his advantage of the men and 36.46 uh, in the advantage of Clinton for ladies. So the delta is six points in men to Sanders' advantage, and it's 11 points amongst women in Clinton's advantage. Then amongst whites, Sanders leads. Among blacks and Hispanics, he's at 22 to 51, with 21% not sure, which is a great uh, sign that he will continue to do better and better. Uh, all the, he'll, uh, he, he doesn't have to win them all. If he can get uh, more than half of these at 32, uh, good things start to happen in certain states. Uh, then in terms of uh, financial situation, Sanders and Clinton are fairly even in the people 30K, under 30K, she has a slight advantage, and 30 to 50K, the lower uh, middle class uh, Sanders. And then in the solidly center middle class, um, We've got uh, Clinton having a substantial advantage. Uh, and then Sanders, again, takes the lead in, in higher uh, uh, earning people, uh, which is ironic, of course. But this is capped at 75,000. So it'd be interesting to see a poll where we're looking at people at 200,000 or more. Amongst uh, Democrats, she has an advantage of 10 points right here. And uh, uh, Sanders uh, has an advantage amongst independents of, so her advantage is 11 points amongst Democrats. His advantage is 22 points among independents. Uh, so that concludes our study of what we consider a historic moment, a moment where a radical person is now uh, potentially poised to be our next president of the United States, a person who champions the worker and the people. Thank you.